So this is the Shark AV2501 Ultra Robot Vacuum with Matrix Clean. And depending on which tank you get, it's either going to be 30 day or 45 day self emptying bin capacity. Do I think there's a big difference between them? No, because a lot of us will empty the bin prior to 30 days just because of odors. Now on the matrix, the secret on the matrix is that you can set this on top of a mess, hold down the clean button for seven seconds, and it's going to clean up a five by five grid around that mess. So very efficient there if you want to use a spot cleaner, but the best reason to check it out comes with the advanced mapping. So it has LiDAR, so it can map out your home very quickly and efficiently while having 3D, accurate 3D detection. It doesn't need to bump into all of your floors and walls in order to sense where it is. And it docks back and works very efficiently and quickly. This self empty bin is tried and true technology because all of these Shark Robo vacuums are using this bin, even the more premium additions. So what is really the difference here? It is that the unit itself is not going to be as premium. It's not going to be having the same suction power, and it doesn't have the same detection system that you get on something like the Shark AI or on the Shark Detect Pro. But if you look at the unit itself and you are actually going to be using this, it really reminds me of a more powerful iRobot i3 because it doesn't come with the front facing camera like you would get on a J7 or a Shark AI, but it will still be able to finish about 90 to 95% of that floors as long as you program it correctly. So let me walk you through how to program it. Let me walk you through how to use it. And let me help you decide if the Shark Matrix is gonna be the best robo vacuum for you and your home. We're gonna take it out of the box here. So let's take it out. Here is going to be the instruction manual. So it's gonna just give you a pretty much a quick rundown on how to set it up. Here is going to be the self empty base as well as the robot. Let's take a closer look. So compared to the other self empty bases, this is just the standard self empty base. They just put matrix on it. So no difference there. You have, so this is gonna be your dustbin. If you wanna empty your dustbin, just press the orange button and it will empty out. This is what the base itself will look like. You have the ability to open it up and empty its base manually or do the front here. This is also where the self empty base is gonna empty out of. All of your indicator lights and how to use it or its instructions are gonna be written on. And the buttons, there's just two buttons here. It's gonna be for dock and clean. Those buttons are dual purpose. So you have your power button, your pause and play as well as to send it out and locate or send it back home. And you see the shark brush here, it is a regular for sure. It's also a little bit weird looking like a pink lumpy pancake. If you're looking at the back station on how to empty the self empty bin. There's a button on the back of the bin. And that's how you empty it. You have to press that button, it's hidden. So you should look at the shark here in terms of build quality as medium. There's a little indicator light there. That means the LED indicator lights are all gonna be blinking. Clean mode, two of the lights will be blinking. You have low battery, there are gonna be some red lights blinking. So if you wanna set up the Shark, it's really easy. All you gotta do is open up the app. Just press Shark here and it's gonna open up the app for you. So this is the map using our Shark Detect Pro, as you can see. First, it's gonna give you all these steps to pair. You wanna plug it into the dock, power it on. And is your robot charging? Yes. So the robot is going to connect to your phone via the app and it's going to be all set. So continued, done. Ours sh so we've named our shark Shark Matrix. So it wants to start by building the map and then you can finally see what it's capable of. So even though the Shark Matrix is going to be the same price as the i3, the i3 will not come with the same no-go zones and no-go areas that you get with the Shark Matrix. The iRobot, those are really reserved for their higher trim lines.
So it just finished its mapping session and look how accurate it made its map. I mean, the LiDAR is identical to the Detect Pro on the Matrix, so it does a very good job here. So we're gonna prove that. It looks exactly like the map we had on the... So now it allows you to create and name your rooms and to produce your no-go zones. So this, you can add rooms. I do highly recommend setting up the no-go zones because if you set them up properly, your machine will always finish its session, generally speaking. So it just makes it so much easier. Like if you have an area where you have a lot of cables all the time, just make that into a no-go zone. So right here in front of my television, that area, always, hard for Robovax. And this is the map that we are using. Now with this map, it will be able to pretty much finish every single time. And that's what I love about just figuring out your map. It's the secret to getting and maximizing the effectiveness of your Robovac, period. You can try the matrix clean. This will target and declean specific rooms or spots. Shark matrix will make two passes side to side, back and forth with added suction power. So this just means it's gonna be on its highest suction power and it's gonna go over that area two times back and forth and all around. So you can give it a try. That means if you want to spot clean, just pick an area you want it to go and it'll spot clean that area. So since this base station is right there, we can just have it matrix clean right in front. It's going to take 10 minutes. And it's a starting to matrix clean. One of the coolest things about the shark matrix is that you can use this as a spot cleaner. So instead of having to get your vacuum and place it there where the spot is, you can just place this where the mess is. So let's say you just spilled a mess right on the floor and it is right there in front of you. And you're like, what do I do? I don't want to get my vacuum. You don't need to get your vacuum. What you can do is just take the matrix, place it right in front of it or around it. And I'm going to hold the clean button for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Starting to spot clean. Starting to spot clean. What Matrix Clean really is, is that it's just a more efficient way where you could just set it and walk away and let the machine do its work. Because the whole point of getting a robo vacuum is that sometimes you don't need it to clean the entire room. You just need to clean a spot and you don't want to go through the app and fumbling through everything in order to clean that spot. And the Matrix solves that issue. And I think that's an important thing. Cool thing about the Shark on high pill carpet is that it does a great job just moving around and it doesn't get caught up on anything. And then if you put an obstacle in front of it, it's gonna go around that obstacle pretty easily as you can see here. You can see that there's a little indicator light here that's gonna let you know what is going on with your matrix. So the plug is connected to the base. This is not something you can just switch out. You have to use the plug attached. The matrix itself will also come with three lights up top. They're gonna to indicate what these specific functions are. If you see it charging. Hello, let's get cleaning. The shark does perform well on flat, hard floors like you have in your kitchen and your bathroom. And it's going to do that in that orderly row design that you see here. The biggest thing for me, if you want to compare the shark to the iRobot, is that the iRobot brush roll, if you have the i3, the J7, it's going to have that silicon brush roll. Those are very, very good for carpet. But in terms of for things like hard floors, they're going to be pretty much the same. So the shark is very good at docking itself, one of the best, but let's see how loud it is when it empties itself. Being totally honest here, after using it for two weeks, we have found that it has not failed us yet. 
Now, I did create a very good map with accurate no-go zones. And after that, it has not ever failed. It finishes every session. The only drawback for the Matrix is that it is the noisiest of the robo-vacuums we tried really at this price point and the self-empty bin, even though it's efficient, very good in terms of, you know, air purification, you know, working small profile and it's bagless. What the biggest drawback is, is still that self-emptying bin is noisy. So combine it together. If you're okay with a little bit more noise and you're looking for a solid value with more power and advanced mapping, the Shark is a winner in my book and it's very, very good. And with that, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box. We will get back to you. And please hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help support our channel. And I'll catch you next time. This is Dave with the French Glow showcasing to you our Shark Matrix RoboVac. I'll see you soon. Bye, bye, bye.